Hi everyone, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, I'm Rosemary and I do crafts and sewing and this is my crazy sewing room. And um, uh, before I even get into doing any kind of a project today, I kind of wanted to point out this cute little picture up here on my wall. This is Eeyore and it was painted by my granddaughter for my birthday. So hi Layla, thank you for the picture. What we're doing right now is we're working on a table runner for Halloween and if you haven't seen any of my previous videos go ahead and watch those and you'll see some of the other things we've already created but today what we're going to create is this cauldron and we're going to do it in my Stellaire sewing machine in the design center make it into an applique and add the bubbles and sew some buttons on and um, well let's just go ahead and go to the sewing machine and get started okay here we are back in Design Center and we're going to make the cauldron for our table runner. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to bring in an image that I can trace. And if I go up here to where my leaf is, where I bring my images in, um, remember we brought it in from the app by hitting the wireless. But today what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in through a USB stick that's already in my machine. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a USB stick in my machine. And what I did was I went on to um, the internet and I Googled cauldron clip art and I found a picture that I thought would work really good for us. So I'm going down here to the bottom and this is a cauldron JPEG and there's my picture and I set it down. Now it's on the screen and I'm just going to use this to trace around to create a cauldron shape. So I'm going to use my zoom button so I can get a little bit closer. And remember when you want to, um, to change your positioning of your zoom, just move your box around until it's in a place where you can see a little bit better what you're doing. Then I'm going to um, choose a running stitch and black. And I think I want to use this one i like this one a lot because as i said before you can pick up your pin and put it back down again and it just automatically connects to the last time and i'll show you that so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to start right here and i'm going to draw a line and then if i pick up my pin you can see i can draw a line this way and draw a line this way and sometimes this takes a little time but it's worth it to get that round look that I want by picking it up and putting it down. Okay, so that made a closed shape, the exact shape that I wanted it to be. I'm going to minus it out so I can zoom out. I could put the handles on it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do with this first is I'm going to save it so I have this shape that I can bring back in. So I'm saving it in the pocket, and I'm going to put it in my sewing machine. Then I'm going to push Next and Preview, and then set that down in my sewing machine. There's my first step for my applique. Push add and then I'm going to go back into my design center and I'm going to take that shape that I created out of the memory and set it down. That's exactly the right size that I want it to be and um, then I'm going to change 
the stitch because I want this to be a little bit more of a back and forth stitch to hold my fabric down. I'm going to make it a different color. Say OK, hit pour and tap it. Say next and preview. Say OK. And it's going to set a second one down on top of the last one. And you can see I've got a black one and a purple one, even though it looks like I've only got one. So I'm doing that right. So I'm going to push add, go back into my design center, and then I'm going to take out of the memory my shape that I just created. There it is right there and set it down. So I want to be able to see some of my other picture now so that I can do the last step. So I'm going to um, bring in that picture that's on the USB stick. There's my cauldron. Set it down. So I can kind of see what I'm working with here. And let's push plus so I can really see what I'm working with. The first thing I want to do is I want to make uh, this oval right here. So I'm going to pick a circle. And here's a circle right here and say OK. And then while it's still selected, I'm going to hit size. And I'm going to just hold it down like this till it gets at least small enough that I can see it on the screen here. And then see the way the arrows go up and down and sideways here? So this is going to kind of squish my circle down. And it's turning into an oval. And I can put it right there. That's where I want it to be. And I can squish it out a little bit. Now to make it filled with green, I'm going to say, OK, here's my outline shapes. Here's my fill shapes. So this one, I'm going to make green and say pour and then tap it and it'll fill with green. I don't want that to be outlined in black. So I'm going to say don't sew an outline. OK, pour, tap it. Now that's not going to outline that. It's just going to be a green right there. Then what I want to do is I want to turn my this outline into a satin stitch. So I'm going to turn this back onto a satin stitch. Make sure it's black. Hit pour and tap that one. So what I want to do with this before um, we add the bubbles to it is I want to finish this as an applique. And the reason why I want to do that is because if I put the bubbles on top of what I've already drawn, and let's just, I'm going to um, go ahead and put a circle in here and say OK. And then I'm going to size it. Let's make it small. So I have a bubble right here. I'm going to push plus so we can see. See, if I fill that with stitches right now, the outline to this is going to merge with the outline to here. And then whether I tell this, if I tell this to be a wide applique stitch, this one's going to become a wide applique stitch. If I tell it not to sew this, then it's not going to sew this because they merge them together. I don't want it to do that. So the only way that I can fix that is to do them separately. So I'm going to say OK and cut and that'll go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish this as an applique. We're going to say next. It's showing the green right now as a fill, which is what I want it to be. I'm going to hit next and it's going to show this as a satin stitch. And I want that satin stitch to be wider because it's an applique stitch. So let's make it 160 and set that down and then look at another way. And this is doing a satin stitch, which I didn't want it to do. So I'm going to hit this and come in here and make it a running stitch and make it dark green. So that's OK. So that works good for me. And then I'm going to go to the next one and make that a wider satin stitch. Set. And then let's see. That should be everything. So I'm going to push preview and see if that came out the way I wanted it to be. Yep, that looks pretty good. That's what I was going for. Um, so now I'm going to set that down and say OK. So now I'm going to add um, 
um, the bubbles to that. So to add the bubbles, I'm going to push add and I'm going to come back into my design center and I need that picture again so I can kind of get an idea of where I'm going to put my bubbles and everything. So I'm going to come up here. We're going to go into my stick that I have plugged into my sewing machine and find that uh, picture again. And it was cauldron and set it down. So there's my picture. That gives me an idea of where I want to put my bubbles. I'm going to push plus. And I'm going to do just like I did a minute ago. I'm going to go into my circles. I'm going to pick a circle and say OK. And then hit size and make it get smaller and smaller. Now when you put a shape in here and you click over here and the red box disappears, you can't pick this back up again. It won't let you. You have to hit this square and draw a square around it just like that. And then it is selected and I can go back and I can size and I can do a lot of different things with it. So I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to put it right there and say OK. And then I can use my duplicate button and I can make more of them. Just put a bunch of them around duplicate again. And as long as the red box is on it, I can size it to whatever size I want it to be. Now I've already shown you how to do applique. So if I wanted to make this into an applique, I would do the same thing. I would save it as, as a running stitch and then save it as a satin stitch on top of that and put it in there. Um, I did do that on the um, one that we, we've already created, but I'm not going to do it this time. So you'll see a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to say OK and I'm going to duplicate it again. Now I want to show you how I can take this, size it, make it a little bigger, say OK. Then I'm going to use this same box and I'm going to select it only half of it like that. And then hit the scissors and cut that half away. I'm going to hit plus, use my pencil, make sure that it's doing just a running straight line. And then I'm going to very carefully draw a straight line. Now I've made half a bubble. Let's minus it out and maybe select it and size it a little bit smaller and pick it up and just set it right on the edge of my pot like that so I have half a bubble there. Um, it's up to you. Whatever it is you feel like doing. I could make so many bubbles it would be absolutely crazy. So I could put another one over here. I could choose this. Make sure when you when you use the selector thing you get the whole bubble. See that's going to cut into that one so I don't want to do that. So let's do this one. Let's select this one and duplicate it and just let it kind of ride right here. Size. Now I'm going to fill these all with color. So you could do them all the same color or you could kind of have some fun with it. I'm going to make this one lime green. Whoops. Remember, use your pour button. Make that one lime green. Make this one kind of a bright yellow. I think when I get around to thread to doing it with thread, I'll do some really bright colors. I've got a couple different shades of green, but um, well, and then you've got to think of what the outline is going to be. This is the outline right here, remember? So we could pick that to be dark green, or we could say don't sew an outline, and then hit the pour, and then just tap each one of these, and they won't sew an outline. Um, did I do that one? Okay. So once I've made all of those into fills, I'm going to hit next and then preview to see what they're going to look like. There's my bubbles and now I'm just going to set them down on top of 
by pot. So that came out pretty good. I like the way it looks. Um, I think when I get all finished with this, I'm going to get some green buttons and sew some buttons on here too, just for the fun of it. I could have made the bubbles go all the way up here. Do whatever you think is going to look good for whatever you're making. Um, it's just kind of a fun project. So um, I'm going to sew this out and put it on my quilt. And then I want to um, show you how to do the quilting. So in the next video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And then I'm going to show you how to do the quilting. It'll be a lot of fun. Bye.